Hello, good morning. It's 9 a.m. on a Saturday and we are sitting in the Lowe's parking lot. They just opened and we're gonna go get some supplies for a, a good old fashioned set build Saturday for the Wizard of Oz Young Performers Edition. And here we have my lovely assistant, my husband, <laughs> who agreed to uh, give me his Saturday for the sake of the children, of course. For the children. <laughs> have officially made it to the school. It is 11 a.m. now. It took us about two hours to get copious amounts of furnace filters from Lowe's and we grabbed a little bit of food and now we're here ready to do all of the set build Saturday things for Wizard of Oz. Alrighty, so these are the tasks that we are going to try to tackle today. I don't know if we're going to get to all of them because I'm going to be honest, I would like to preserve a little bit of my Saturday for non-school related things, but these are the goals for Wizard of Oz set build day. We have light up cube towers. I need to spray paint my witch's slash gulch's bike because I found it from a thrift store and it needs a fresh coat of paint very badly. Um, need to paint some stone walls, which on the flip side are the Aussian gates, like the Emerald City gates. And then I also need to organize costumes something fierce because I have 51 cast members and each of them play two or three characters. So I need to work on that. But these are all things I'm hoping to accomplish today and we'll see how it goes. And uh, the first thing we need to do is go measure our performance area and kind of figure out how many light up cubes we need for our, for our performance area. Status update, it is one o'clock, so we have been here for three hours, and we have managed to build 16 cubes. All right, we are about to make over this bicycle for the Wizard of Oz. This is the bicycle that Miss Gulch slash the Wicked Witch rides. And I'm super excited about it because I found this bad boy at a Goodwill for $25. Um, the tires were completely flat and obviously like, you know, she's seen better days, but we're going to paint her. And I love how it doesn't have hand brakes and it also has bumpers like around the tires. Um, which are both like symbolic of older bicycles from the 1930s, 1940s, which is the time period that we're looking at for Wizard of Oz. So let's get to painting. The Gulch Wicked Witch Bicycle is officially repainted. And we are going for the classic kind of black and white sepia look at the beginning of our show for all of the scenes that take place in Kansas. So this bike will work really well. I am going to put a seat cover on the cushion, but otherwise it's not perfect by any means. Um, but I think it'll work really well for the show. And uh, overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it for a $25 Goodwill bike and then about $5 worth of spray paint. So bike done, woo. Okay, so I'm gonna do a bonus project that I was not intending on doing, um, but I was outside spray painting the bike and was like, you know what? I need to go ahead and finish this other spray painting project while I'm here. So. I am going to spray paint the stump for the first scene where we meet the Tin Man because um, 
the Tin Man has his axe like stuck in a stump, or at least that's how we've decided to depict this scene. So I'm going to spray paint that. It is actually a small metal stool with a piece of foam on top, secured on top with tape, and then a little notch cut out for our axe to fit into it. And then I actually covered the whole thing in a tablecloth upside down and secured it at the bottom. And that will allow me to paint it all brown. And it kind of has like, um, like a fuzzy texture because it's a tablecloth with like the lining underneath. And then I'm going to add vines and like some different coloration and things like that. But for now, I'm just gonna spray paint it brown. So here we go, more painting. <laughs> Okay, please ignore the lunch tables because my performance space is actually the corner of a cafeteria. So those aren't here whenever we perform, obviously. But we built 16 cubes and now we are just kind of putting them in the space to see how they look. This is before we finish all the edges with black tape and obviously put lights inside of them so that they all light up. But this is the general idea. <sighs> all right, friends, we are calling it a night. It is almost six o'clock. We were here substantially longer than I wanted to be and did not get nearly as much done as I hoped that we would, but that is the nature of creative projects because they evolve and they expand and they don't always go how you think they're going to. So it's okay. Today we got the gold spike done. We got half of the light tower cube things done. And I also finished painting the tree stump. So didn't get to costumes, did not get to painting stone walls or Oz gates, but it's okay. Overall, a productive Saturday and happy that we were able to get some of these projects knocked out. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy theater or theater education related content, please like and subscribe for more. And as always, break a leg.